Yo, you two people, what's up? What's come here? Like I said, I am back. And we're going to be feeding Bob some uh, crayfish. You got the maxi jet on there. It's rocking. But, uh, the bio wheel on here is still new. So, the water flow that's going right now is kind of high. So, with the bio wheel, it's still kind of loud. But, uh, I let it float in the tank for about a day and then I just recently put it on, it's probably been on for about 20 minutes and I can already tell it's gotten quieter since I uh, put it on but like I said for the purpose of this video I'll just take it off for now and then put it back on when uh, I'm done so uh, here we are, here's Bob's tank, I put uh, about 5 pounds of new black sand in there and it's already been, uh, it's already got some weird shape to it. Like you can see down the corner, it's uh, kind of blown out. But here it is from the side. And that's from uh, the maxi jet over there. So I think instead of putting anything on the sand, I'm going to just leave it that way. And then every once in a while, just kind of tweak uh, what direction the maxi jet is going. And uh, I think that'll kind of just keep transforming the seabed back and forth. So it's over this way more, so I'm gonna see what happens if I point it uh if I point the outlet more towards the uh glass, maybe it'll shift the uh little sand doing thing going. So uh there's the mollies, they're doing good. One black one, one white one, and then another smaller black one. I'm not sure. I'm sure if I sat here and I looked at them closely I could sex them. But I'm still not sure uh what the sex are on them. The uh black one back there seems to have a f even though it's smaller the smaller one its tail seems to be more fancier so I think that might be a female and these are two males but I could be wrong so uh, don't quote me on it but uh I got Bob's dinner in here a little crawfish turn on some extra light for you guys shades on turn off this one Spotlight. See if I can catch this dude in one go. Damn it. I don't know if you guys can really see him because I'm in the light. But there he is. Once I uh, get him out, you guys will get a better view of him. Get off as much water as we can. So I'm drip all over the carpet like I always do. Alright, let's set that dude down there for now. Take the top off. Oh, Bob's getting feisty. Bob will even go, when, I'm in the, when I was in there cleaning it, Bob even went after my finger a few times in my hand. My whole hand was in there and he would still go after my arm. See what happens if I put my finger in there. Just scared myself, but yeah, see, he comes and takes a bite. So, let's see how he likes this uh, crawfish, this crawdad. Like I said in the other videos, those uh, fiddler crabs, those little bastards, those, those little armored tanks, those things are, they're, they're beast. Maybe if I get the smallest one possible. God damn it, look at, look at the carpet. Look at the dude. I pull your arm off, and then that's only going to give you one less thing to fight Bob with. Ah, uh, there we go. So here's the size of them. Nice smaller one. The last one I fed Bob was way bigger than this beast. So I'm sure Bob will dismantle this one in no time. It's a lot smaller. Get under light. You guys can see them. Just crawfish. I guess some people call them crawfish. I just call them uh, crawdads. So I'm, I'm from the West Coast, so that's what I call them. And uh, up here in New York, they call them crawfish. It's like a buck twenty nine or something. Whenever he has them in stock, I buy them. Like last time, he didn't have them in stock. So ooh, it just kicked on me. So I bought the fiddler crab. But he had this was the last one in stock. So I hurry up and uh, snacked it. Damn. Put you guys on top of Bob's tank real quick. Let me turn off this backlight. Okay. Pick you up. There it is, crawfish. This could be the second time I fed Bob these. So 
Check it out. What is that, boy? What is that, boy? This video is only going to be like, uh, what you call it? Ten minutes long, and then I'm gonna have to cut it into another video. Eventually, I'll learn how to splice them. Maybe I'll try to mess with these two because I got a ton of other videos that are uploading with the freshwater tank. So, uh, and then you can see the reflection of the two other tanks. Get them, up, get them. If I turn off the fluorescent one, if that's the brightest one. Oh, they're there. So we're at about six minutes. Bob did this last time. He keeps trying to rip off those, uh, his claws, his little pinchers. Bob's just bobbing and weaving. Oh, there goes something. One leg. The molly's going to eat it. See? When they, uh, whenever Bob rips something up, the molly's just come and they end up eating that little piece. Bob's just jacking this dude up. I figured I better, uh, might as well feed him while all the stuff's out of the tank because last time that fiddler crab hid from Bob on his coral and all that other stuff a bunch of times. Look at even the mollies are going after it. That's crazy. The, uh, current in this tank is really good. You can tell because this, uh, crawfish is having a hard time mobbing around. I think the water is too uh, strong for him, so Bob's just picking at him. Bob's getting all big and puffy. The good thing about this is uh, the fiddler, uh, other than the fiddler, oh uh, crap, the fiddler crab, they have to eventually get out of water somehow to breathe. With uh, these, these guys can stand there the whole time, and I can, and I don't have to worry about. It. So if Bob doesn't eat him today, I don't have to worry about him uh, suffocating or uh, well, technically drowning, and then spoiling in my tank and getting gross. Can't tell what's going on. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure Bob removed his eyes <laughs> he's got no eyeballs left so he's basically that's why I think he's not really defending himself because he doesn't know which way Bob's coming from so Bob's just gonna mac on those legs until he gets them there's one leg I don't know if the mollies are gonna eat it or not but yeah this guy's quitting Especially since it's a smaller one. The last one I fed Bob was, like I said, big. That Molly's got a piece of something. It's eaten. So they eat well. Oh, Bob just went for his face again. Jesus Christ. When I do, uh, when I start the next video, I'll turn that other light off and hopefully the tank will be brighter. He's got a little bit of the uh, end of his tail missing. He's still kicking. I should probably turn off the uh, maxi jet, but now Bob's going for the middle part. He's trying to uh, crack through the uh, the shell there, and that's why I got these. Because believe it or not, I'm having a hard time finding snails and even breeding them in the uh, the uh, ten gallon tank there. But uh, videos. Bleep, uh, blinking red, so it's gonna cut off short, guys. So, uh, I'll be right back at you and we'll.